Good call, bad call. Time, Sam McClure, the wild thing with a new ball. And Sam, you need to pick your moments in this game. Good call, bad call. No, that's a bad call from you, Hutchie. Smart alley call. You're referring to the original OC. And that is the original over-celebrator, Tom Papley. We love his celebrations. I do too. Because of what he does. Occasionally, you're going to get one wrong. I love him. That's OK. It was a point. But, you know, he's, he's batting at 90, 99 out of 100. Hachi, the next time we see a game in Hobart, it should be the Tassie team playing good call, bad call. Bad call. Really disrespectful call from you. Really? This You're referring to the crowd yesterday, which wasn't to the level we'd all liked at Hobart. They said 5,000. It didn't look like 5,000, to be fair to you. But it's a bad call. Stay the course on Tassie. The scheduling was a problem. The dark mofo was on. There's 15,000 at that. Oh, you're blaming the schedule. It kidding. was a long weekend. It was, a, it was one that didn't work. Kane, there's better value to be had in the ruck market than Tom DeConing. Good call, back. This call. is a great call from you, Lordo. My man, Kieran Briggs, is doing some pretty special things at the Giants, and I'd be going after him significantly if I was another club. He had eight clearances on his own, very mobile around the ground. He's a big physical presence, so forget... Sean Darcy and paying him eight to nine hundred thousand a year, and Tom Nakoni can get him on the cheap before he reaches that A grade status. Lloydie, the slow start to the snow season has been a big win for the MCG atmosphere. Good call, bad call. Bad call, sarcastic call. You've smashed Melbourne fans when they don't attend, and they attend today, and then you want to give them a you know, sarcastic snow call like today. So there. The, the atmosphere at the MCG was electric. It's the loudest I've ever heard Melbourne fans. Good on them. What was the crowd? And they helped them get over the 83, line. 83, I'm with you. Not, not that big. Why would you even raise it? Uh, Kane, the cold war between you and the Roos shows no signs of thawing. Good call, bad call. Before I answer that, let's have a listen to Harry Sheasel, who I think is trolling me. I just love giving it everything, like, try and do the most that I can. I'm doing a lot of, like, ice baths, um, a lot of hot, cold rotations. Good call from Yachty. It's Great not all about you, Kane. He's doing the ice bars <laughs> on of the back of Horn Francis. Good call from you. Good pick up. Hey, it's Sam. Uh, sorry, Kane. Uh, Matthew Nix needs to practice what he preaches. Good call, bad no, call. No, no, that's a bad call, and that's a really harsh call. You've never been in the coach's box sort of call, Lloyd, to be fair. <laughs> Matthew Nix int being interviewed by uh, his... Rusciuto? Yeah, his football director, which I still don't think should happen, had this to say and then kind of changed his mind when Tex did kick in. We got ten tax to kick ten. I couldn't care less, to be honest, as long as the boys finish it off strong. Bumped off it, Mike Cromart spins it around the So Tex finally kicks ten and he's left. He's, that's a little celebration. That's okay. He's allowed to have it both ways. Lotto, injury prone players need to be extra cautious. Good call, bad call. Good call by you, Kane. I'd wrap Yo in cotton wool the next time he plays. Uh, he poked himself in the eye. So he just cannot take a trick, this man. And he had to actually come off the ground after poking himself in the eye. But good to see he came back on the ground. And finally, Hutchie, it's important for politicians to stay on message. Good call, bad call. Bad call. Thanks, Basil call. Shocking call. You're referring to this, I think, Basil on the weekend. They're still in here, the Tigers. Short it comes back to. Round the body. Short man, short name, long kick, goal. So this to equal his career high. Sets it up on its way. It takes off. Short man, long goal. I loved it. He's, it was great to see him back in the commentary box. He's been lost to broadcasting. He's one of us in the West. Not surprised and, uh, that he, he used it twice? No, I thought it needed another go and, <laughs> and then he nailed it. And uh, I was disappointed he had brought it up.